uh, here with senior middle, Lauren Oxley. Uh, had 11 kills, four blocks tonight against Merrimack College and a three-set victory. Finally, a three-set win at home. Finally, yes. Um, we'll talk a little bit about um, what the what the game plan was coming in, because obviously you had uh, you had quite a night, quite a night in the middle there. Uh, well, we definitely have been working on our sets, trying to make them quicker. We started off at the beginning of the season with faster sets, and that was one thing we wanted to go back to because we played Merrimack a couple weeks ago in a non-conference game. Um, so that was one of the main focuses in practice this week. We knew what their game plan was. We know where their hitters hit, so we were focused on just getting the ball up, getting a good block up, and then being able to put it down. And Definitely had some success in the middle tonight. Like you said, 11 kills. Um, I know Dubs did pretty well too, but we definitely wanted to feed middles tonight. Yeah, it was, it was kind of nice to see you guys, um, you know, really not only get involved, but, but be really effective, and especially on the defensive end, obviously, um, they had a pretty prolific uh, hitter in, in Jen Kane on the outside. Yep. Um, I think you held her to six, five or six kills, um, which is way below her season average. Yeah. Um, defensively speaking, what, you know, what, what was kind of going through your guys' head out, out there? Well, like I said, we, uh, we know where they like to hit. We take line on some players, cross on others, and then the defense just moves around us. And I think the defense did a really nice job tonight of picking everything up. If there was a hole in the block, they covered it for us. They just did a really good job of... All right, we've got three big matches down the stretch. Yes. Um, what are we hoping to do uh, first against Adelphi, obviously, on your, on your senior day? Um, and then we've got two on the road to end the season. What's, uh, what kind of message do we want to send the rest of the way here? We have to win. It's not really an option at this point. We want to make it to the postseason and... We're not really worried about what they're going to do. We just need to focus on our game. That's what we did tonight. So I think we just need to keep that up, make sure all the loose ends are tied for us, and she's need to play volleyball. All right, here with sophomore Katie Teets. Had 16 kills tonight against Merrimack. Um, another double-digit uh, night in the three-setter, which is uh, pretty pretty crazy. What um, Playing it back a little bit, your, your first attempt was in the bottom of the net. Mm -hmm. Your next yes. eight were absolutely rich for kills. Um, you finished with eight, eight kills in that first set, one air. Um, I think like a 500, uh, 560 hitting percentage. Oh, wow. Um, what, you know, what was going through your brain in that first set and, and, and what, what did you see out there? I think that first kill was pretty much just nerves because uh, the last time we played Merrimack, it was pretty rough. But after that, I think we really just started connecting with our setter. She played amazing today. Um, and I know I did. I was playing aggressive. I wanted that ball. I wanted redemption for what happened a couple weeks ago back at Merrimack. Um, and I think everybody was. So that was awesome. And it just continued all three sets. Yeah, very good. Like I said, I thanked uh, Oxley for the sweep. I thanked you for the sweep mm -hmm. against you, too. <laughs> um, you know, looking ahead, we've got a big one uh, against the league leading Adelphi on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Um, it's Ox's senior day, um, and then we've got two on the road. Um, we're still in the race. Mm -hmm. Still in the race. So uh, what, what do we have to do to, to, to make that final playoff push? I think we have to take it day by day, especially this week. Going into Adelphi, it's going to be rough. But we did it last year to New Haven. They were undefeated, and we came in on their home court, and we beat them. So anything's possible this year. I think we have two tough practices tomorrow and Thursday, going over what we need to do on Friday, kind of mixing up our game plan, and then just being ready to adjust for Adelphi the next two games next week in New York. That's going to be the same thing. We'll have a whole week of practices to prepare, and I think we'll go in pretty ready for anything they have.